When you grab a soft drink from the fridge, you probably don't think much about the bottle itself. It's just a plastic container holding your favorite fizzy beverage. But have you ever noticed that nearly all soft drink bottles have a very specific shape? A narrow neck, a curved middle, and a wider bottom with little feet or ridges that help it stand upright. It's not a coincidence or a random design choice. Every curve, ridge, and angle of that bottle exists for a reason, a result of careful engineering, physics, and marketing design. Today, we're going to uncover why soft drink bottles look the way they do and why that shape has become the global standard for carbonated beverages. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. To start, let's talk about the biggest factor, pressure. Soft drinks are carbonated, which means they contain dissolved carbon dioxide gas under high pressure. When you open the bottle, the familiar hiss you hear is the release of that pressurized gas. But while the bottle is sealed, that gas exerts constant outward pressure on the container walls. If the bottle wasn't properly shaped, it could bulge, deform, or even burst under that pressure. This is where the famous curvy shape of the bottle comes in. The smooth, rounded shoulders near the top of the bottle and the tapered neck help distribute internal pressure evenly throughout the container. Instead of having flat surfaces that could bow outward, the curved design channels stress evenly, maintaining the bottle's shape and integrity. It's the same principle that makes eggshells surprisingly strong. Curves are nature's way of evenly handling force. Now, the material itself also plays a huge role. Most soft drink bottles are made from PET, or polyethylene terephthalate, a lightweight yet durable plastic. PET is great at handling internal pressure, but it can still stretch or deform if not shaped correctly. Early plastic bottles in the 1970s were simple cylinders, but manufacturers quickly realized that a straight shape couldn't withstand the carbonation pressure well, especially at the base. Those early bottles often bulged at the bottom or tipped over easily. So engineers came up with a clever fix, the pedaloid base. That's the distinctive bottom with five rounded bumps or feet that you see on almost every modern soft drink bottle. This design gives the bottle stability while also balancing the internal pressure forces. The feet act like small pressure points that support the bottle evenly, preventing it from wobbling or popping when under pressure. Another critical part of the design is the neck. Have you ever noticed that soft drink bottles have a much narrower neck compared to the rest of the body? That's not just for looks or to make it easier to pour. The narrow neck actually helps contain pressure more efficiently. Since gas tends to escape through the weakest part of the seal, the smaller opening minimizes the risk of leaks. It also allows for a tight, strong screw cap that can handle the force of carbonation. This is especially important during manufacturing and shipping, when bottles are stacked and transported across long distances. A poorly sealed cap or a weak neck could result in leaks, pressure loss, or even explosions, something companies definitely want to avoid. But the bottle's shape isn't all about function. There's a huge visual and marketing component too. The design of the bottle is also meant to appeal to consumers. Think of Coca-Cola's iconic contoured bottle, often called the hobble skirt shape. Even though the plastic version is more modern, it still carries the essence of that original design, a curvy, waist-like form that's easy to grip and visually distinct. This ergonomic shape not only fits comfortably in your hand, but also creates a subconscious sense of familiarity and trust. When consumers see that silhouette, they immediately associate it with quality, refreshment, and brand identity. 
In other words, the shape is part of the product's personality. From a practical standpoint, that shape also makes the bottle stronger and easier to handle during production. When bottles are filled at high speeds in bottling plants, they're subjected to intense mechanical processes, filling, capping, labeling, and packaging, all done in a matter of seconds. The bottle's curve structure helps it resist deformation during these rapid movements. The waist-like middle portion allows machines to grip the bottle easily without crushing it. It's also space efficient for packaging, fitting snugly into crates and vending machines while maintaining structural integrity. Let's not forget the environmental aspect. Pet bottles are designed not only for strength and marketing appeal, but also for recyclability and material efficiency. The modern soft drink bottle uses as little plastic as possible while still maintaining its pressure resistance. Those curved sections help engineers use thinner plastic walls without compromising strength. If the bottle were straight and flat, it would need to be made of much thicker plastic to prevent bursting, which would make it heavier, more expensive, and less eco-friendly. The current design is a balance between material efficiency and safety. Every curve reduces the amount of plastic needed while maximizing strength, a clever blend of physics and sustainability. Another subtle but important design feature is the slight indentation near the middle, often called the waist. This curve not only makes the bottle easier to hold, but it also helps control how the bottle expands and contracts with temperature changes. Soft drinks are often stored in coolers, transported in hot trucks, and even left out in the sun. These temperature shifts cause the gas inside to expand or contract. The curved middle allows the bottle to flex slightly without distorting or breaking. It's a small but vital detail that ensures your drink stays fizzy and the bottle stays intact in almost any condition. So when you look at that plastic soft drink bottle, you're not just seeing a random design, you're seeing decades of engineering evolution. From pressure distribution to brand identity, from ergonomics to environmental efficiency, every detail has been tested, refined, and optimized. What started as a simple container for fizzy drinks has become a masterpiece of modern design and physics. It's the perfect example of how everyday objects we take for granted are actually the result of complex problem solving. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.